Hey everyone, you're watching the Esperanza 243. You're watching my book reading project of the Westing Game Hearts 25. Alright, um, as I said before in um, the the great art Mar the great March ending vlog. Uh, I will be using my camcorder from now on mainly because uh, the camera app on my computer is screwed up again. <laughs> um, but also because I finally have a tripod and I'm going to be using that after I finish the book reading collection on the Westing game. I'm excited. And if you guys haven't uh, figured it out yet, there I uploaded an introduction of a game or a book and one of my books that I'm going to be rereading uh, under the name of Aquatica instead of Part of Your World because I figured Part of Your World kind of copywriting plus I wanted my own top my own title. Anyways, let's get to this. Um, I believe we ended part 24 with. Um, with the heirs finding out all their answers are wrong. Kind of, kind of interesting. Kind of, it makes you wonder how Sam Westing knows that all the answers are wrong. Of course we'll find out. Because all books must have a conclusion. Um, and so Ed Plum leaves them, leaves the library of course locking the doors and I will actually re um, read the part that Samuel W. Westing uh, put in his will and then I'll continue from where we were last at last video 15th wrong all answers are wrong I repeat Wrong. All answers are wrong. Partnerships are canceled. You are on your own, alone. The lawyer will leave and return with the authorities at the appointed time. And time is running out. Hurry, find the name before the one who took my life takes another. Remember, it is not what you have, it's what you don't have that counts. And now here we go. Continuing from part 24. Otis Amber told everyone to sit where he could watch them. Theo rose. I think it's about time we played as a team and shared our clues and shared the inheritance. With the murderer? Well, alright. Agreed. Sidel Pulaski still thought the answer had something to do with America the Beautiful. Does anybody have a clue where that is not in the song? I'm not sure, Doug said mischievously. Sing it again? No one cared for that idea. It is not what you have, it's what you don't have that counts, Jake Wexler reminded them. Maybe some words in the song are missing from the clues. That makes sense. Does anyone have the word amber? Mr. Who said, or asked. Not again, Otis Amber groaned. You heard the will. It said all answers were wrong. Well, I was one of the wrong answers. But Mr. Westing wrote the will before the game began, Sidel argued. Perhaps he assumed we weren't smart enough to find you out so soon. Judge Ford did not interfere. Otis Amber could take care of himself. She had to be prepared to defend Crow when the time came. Crow sat with her head bowed, waiting. No one had the word Amber, but two pairs had, an, had Am in their clues. Two Ams do not an Amber make, Sidel declared. Two Ams stand for America, America. I've got America, Jake Wexler shouted. 
I've got America! Ravings of a madman, Mr. Who thought. The podiatrist. Could he be the one? Jake explained in a calmer voice. The two ants could not stand for America, America, because one of my clues is America. Sandy stood, took a long swig from his flask, coughed, then spoke in a hoarse voice. We're getting nowhere. Why doesn't everybody hand in their clues so Miss Pulaski can arrange them in order we in order and we can see what's missing? Her eyes narrowed with suspicion. The judge watched Sandy collect the clues. Just write them out again, he said to Turtle, who had eaten the originals. Then he placed the paper squares before the secretary and resumed his seat. What was her partner doing? Why was he playing into Westing's hands? He knows the answer. He knows he's leading the heirs to crow. Again, the judge studied the doorman's battered face. The scars, the bashed in nose, the hard blue eyes under those taped spectacles, the baggy uniform. Everyone was given the perfect partner, Chris said. Chris was right. She was paired with the one person who could confound her plans, manipulate her moves, keep her from the truth. Her partner, Sandy McSouthers, was the only heir she had not investigated. Her partner, Sandy McSouthers, was Sam Westing. Dun, dun, dun. The secretary quickly arranged the clues in order. Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, for am waves of grain, for purple mountain majesties, above fruited plain. America, um, God shed his grace on thee, and end thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. The missing words, said Del Pulaski announced, are burr, the, Erica and Crow. Bertha, Erica, Crow. Crow paled. Judge Ford stood. May I have everyone's attention? Thank you. Please listen very carefully to what I have to say. We found the answer to Sam Westing's puzzle. Now what are we going to do? Remember, we have no evidence of any kind against this unfortunate woman. We don't even have proof that Sam Westing was murdered. Can we accuse an innocent woman of a murder that has never been proved? Crow is our neighbor and our helper. Can we condemn her to a life imprisonment just to satisfy our own greed? For money promised in an improbable and illegal will? If we if so, we are guilty of a far greater crime than the accused. Bertha Erica Crow's only crime is that her name appears in a song. Our crime would be selling, yes, I said selling, selling for profit. The life of an innocent, helpless human being. The judge paused to let her words sink in. Then she turned to her partner. Her voice hardened. As for the master of this vicious game, she paused. What was, what's happening to him? Uh, uh, uh. Sandy's hand flew to his throat. He struggled to his feet, red faced and gasping, and crashed to the floor in eye bulging agony. Jake Wexler and Denton Deer hurried to his aid. Field pounded on the door, shouting for help. Ed Plum unlocked the door and two strange men rushed past him. One carrying a doctor's bag quickly limped on crooked legs to the side of the writhing doorman. I'm Dr. Sykes. Everyone, please move away. Mmm. The heirs heard a low groan, then a rasping rattle, then nothing.
Sandy! Sandy! Turtle screamed, pushing through the restraining hands. She looked down on the doorman sprawled at her feet. His face was twisted in rigid pain. His mouth gaped over the chipped front tooth. The taped glasses had fallen from his blue eyes that were locked in an unseen stare. Suddenly, his body straightened in one last violent twitch. His right eye closed, then opened again, and Sandy moved no more. He's dead, Dr. Sykes said, gently turning her away. Dead? Judge Ford repeated numbly. How could she have been so wrong, so very wrong? A sob tore through Turtle's soul as she ran to Baba's comforting arms. Baba, Baba, I don't want to play anymore. The second stranger, the sheriff of Westing County, her herded them back to the game room. Without thinking, the heirs seated themselves at the assigned tables. Turtle sat quietly. It was Florin Bombach's turn to weep. Crow waited. Only the throbbing veins in her tightly clasped hands told of her torment. Excuse me, sir, Ed Plum said. I realize this may seem inappropriate, but according to Samuel W. Westing's will, I must read another document on the hour. The sheriff checked his watch. What kind of a madhouse is this? And there's something mighty fishy about this cocky kid lawyer calling in the middle of dinner insisting that I hurry right over. That was half an hour before anyone died. Go ahead, he grumbled. Plum cleared his throat three times under the sheriff's suspicious glare. Sixteenth. <clears throat> <clears throat> I, Samuel W. Westing of Westingtown, born Sam Windy Winkloppel of Watertown. I had to change my name for business purposes. After all, who would buy a product called Winkloppel's Toilet Tissues, would you? Do hereby declare that if no one wins, this will is null and void. So hurry, hurry, hurry. Step right up and collect your prize. The lawyer will count off five minutes. Good luck and a happy 4th of July. One clopple? Did someone say one clopple? Grace Wexler slurred. I knew Westing wasn't an immigrant's name, Sidel Pulaski said. I knew it. The man was insane, Denton Deer diagnosed. They were struggling with their conscience, millions and millions of dollars just for naming her name. One minute is up. The heirs stared at the answer, Bertha Erica Crow, a religious fanatic, maybe even crazy, but a murderer? They had no evidence that Westing was murdered. The judge said so. Crow waited. She had not suffered enough for her sins. Her penance was yet to begin. Two minutes were up. Are up. Two minutes are up. Two hundred million dollars, Turtle thought. But who gets it? The last part the lawyer read wasn't very businesslike. Besides, she could never peach on anybody, not even Crow. Who cares about anything anyhow? Sandy is dead. Sandy was her friend. Now she'll never see him again, ever. Judge Ford tried not to look at the empty chair at her table, Mick Souther's chair. Her one concern was the safety of Crow. The judge watched the heirs and waited. Crow waited. Three minutes are up. Westing wasn't murdered. The judge said so. But what about Sandy? He was drinking from the flask Crow filled and he died choking. Poison? 
Crow felt the eyes on her, the hating eyes. They scoffed at her beliefs. They joked about her soup kitchen. Only two people here mattered to her. She was so tired, so tired of waiting, of waiting. Four minutes are up. The answer is Bertha Erica Crow. No, Angela cried. No, no. She's crazy, Otis Amber shouted. She doesn't know what she's saying. Yes, I do, Otis. Crow said flatly and repeated her, her statement. The answer is Bertha Erica Crow. She rose and turned to the co confused lawyer. I am Bertha Erica Crow. I am the answer and I am the winner. I give half of my inheritance to Otis Amber to be used for the good salvation soup kitchen. I give the rest of the money to, to Angela. Chapter 25, Westing's Wake. Sandy was dead. Crow had been arrested. The 14 remaining heirs of Samuel W. Westing sat in Judge Ford's living room, wondering what had happened. At least the guilt is not on our hands, Mr. Who said, trying, not, trying to convince himself that a clear conscience was, was worth $200 million. Crow's going to jail, Otis Amber wailed. And all you do is pat yourself on the back for not being a, a stoolie. Let me remind you that Crow confessed, Sadell Pulaski reminded him. Crow only confessed to being the answer, nothing more, Angela said, pressing her hand against the tearing pain in her cheek. Even if Sam Westing wasn't murdered, like the judge said, Doug Who said, argued, there was nothing wrong with Sandy until he drank from the flask Crow filled. If Crow is innocent, Theo said, that means the murderer is still here in this room. Florma Bach tightened her grip on Turtle, who was nestled in her arms. Poor Crow, Otis Amber muttered. Poor Crow. Poor Sandy, you should stay, Turtle responded angrily. Sandy's the one who's dead. Sandy was my friend. You should have remembered that before you kicked him, Denton Deer remarked. I never kicked Sandy, never. The intern turned sideways in his chair in case of attack, but the kicker stayed slumped in sadness. Well, someone kicked him today. That was one mean bruise he had on his shin. That's a lie. That's a disgusting lie, Turtle shouted. The only person I kicked today was Barney Northrup, and he deserved it. I didn't, I didn't even see Sandy until tonight at the Westinghouse. Right, Baba? That's right, Flormbombach said, handing Turtle a Westing facial tissue. But Turtle was not about to cry again in front of everybody like a baby. If only she could forget how he looked, suffering, dying. The twisted body, the chipped tooth, that horrible twitch, the one eye, that was the worst. That one eye blinking. Sandy used to wink at her like that when he was alive. When he was alive. Turtle blew her nose loudly to keep from sobbing. Sandy was my friend too, Theo said. I was playing chess with him in the game room, but he didn't know I knew. Why is everybody lying? Turtle slumped further into a form by box arm. Sandy was her friend, not Theo's, and Sandy didn't know how to play chess. The judge, too, was surprised. How can you be certain it was Mr. McSouthers you were playing with, Theo? That was, that's what partners are for. Doug watched the chess table to see who was moving the white pieces, Theo replied. Again, the track star thrust his I'm number one fingers and high in the air. 
dumb jock, thought Mr. Who. Doesn't he realize this is awake? But he is the champ. My son's the champ. Dad win, Madame Who said. They did not suspect her anymore. Good, very good. But it was so sad about the door guard. Theo went on in a mournful voice. I'm sort of glad Sandy didn't go, go back to the chessboard after my last move. He never knew he lost the game. Did you checkmate him? The judge asked. Could she have been right about Mick Souther's, after all? No. A disguise was one thing, but Sam Westing losing a game of chess? Never. Well, not exactly checkmate, Theo said. Theo replied. But Sandy would have had to resign. I took his queen. The queen's sacrifice! The famous Westing trap! Judge Ford was certain now, but there were still too many unanswered questions. I'm afraid greed got the best of you, Theo. By taking White's queen, you were tricked into opening your defense. I know, I've lost a few games that way myself. Theo recalled the position of the chessman, thankfully that his skin was too dark to reveal his blushing. <gasps> Ooh. Turtle almost smiled. That Theo thinks he's so smart. Well, Sandy showed him. Sandy beat him at chess, but Sandy didn't play chess, and she never kicked him either. Bucktooth Barney Northrup was the one she kicked, not Sandy. But Sandy had the silver shin. Buck tooth, chip tooth, the crooked false teeth in the dentist's office, Sandy's dentist. Cheer up, my friend, the game's not over. You can still you still can win. I hope you do. Those were the last words Sandy said to her. He winked when he said that. Winked. One eye winked. Said Sandy had winked at her. Sandy had winked. Oh my! Formabak exclaimed as Turtle suddenly bolted from her arms. Angela, could I see your copy of the will? Angela handed it over. She could not refuse her sister anything now. Turtle leaned against the dark window, poring over Sadell Pulaski's transcript of the will. First, I returned to live among my friends and my enemies. I came home to seek my heir, aware that in doing so I faced death, and so I did. To seek my heir? Turtle repeated to herself. Today I have gathered together my nearest and dearest, my sixteen nieces and nephews. Sit down, Grace Windsor Wexler, to review to view with the body of your Uncle Sam for the last time. Tomorrow its ashes will be scattered to the four winds. Wind? Windclapper, Turtle said aloud. Her mother had been right all along about being related to Sam Westing. Windclapper, Grace mumbled. Jake patted her head. Windclapper, the judge repeated. At least she could explain that. Crow married a man named Windclapple, who then changed his name to Westing. Bertha Erica Crow is the former wife of Samuel W. Westing. They had one child, a daughter, who drowned the night before her wedding. It was rumored that she killed herself, rather than marry the man her mother had chosen for him. It was rumored that she killed herself, rather than marry the man her mother had chosen for her. If Sam Westing blamed his wife for their daughter's death, then the sole purpose of this game was to punish Crow. Crow was Sam Westing's ex-wife? The heirs found that hard to believe. Then why would Mr. Westing give her a chance to inherit the, ins the estate? Theo asked. M maybe he wanted his enemies to forgive him, Chris said. Ha! said Mr. Who, one of his enemies. Turtle read on. Second, 
I, Samuel W. Westing, hereby swear that I did not die of natural causes. My life was taken from me by one of you. The police are helpless. The culprit is far too cunning to be apprehended for this dastardly deed. What does dastardly mean? Oh my! Florin Bombach was relieved to hear Jake Wexler define the word as cowardly. I alone know that name. Now it is up to you. Cast out the sinner. Let the guilty rise and confess. Third, who among you is worthy to be the Westing heir? Help me. My soul shall roam restlessly until that one is found. For the first time since Sandy died, Turtle smiled. Judge Ford sat in glassy-eyed thought, elbows propped on the desktop, her chin resting on her folded hands. Why indeed was Crow an heir? And I'm actually going to stop there. Well, that's it for me. Um, you will get part 26 and 27 the last two parts i'm super excited and i hope you guys enjoy it i am looking forward to it i am i really do hope you guys enjoy it as much as i always do <laughs> so um i that will be it i will see you guys later and if you are ever interested in listening to my online radio show you can look me up on blogtalkradio.com slash te243 um i actually do my radio show on mondays and fridays mondays at 9 30 a.m and fridays at noon um central central time zone so you guys are welcome to listen there uh the, but all my all my radio all my friday shows up until um i'd say the middle of may I'm going to be just playing music, unless I'm doing an interview, I, and I do an interview m once a month. Uh, last month's meeting was, last month's interview was with Ruth Acuff, a local uh, harpist who is amazing and really, really nice, and um, I actually did my February interview the week before that, because um, I had forgotten to do it. But anyways, uh, sorry, that is it. I will see you guys in part 26. This is DS Bronze 243 signing out. Saying, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye.